Earlier this week, I was able to sit down with Alcorn head coach Fred McNair. We got to talk about his brother, the late Steve McNair, and what it meant for him to now be the head coach at his alma mater. So you are the original Air McNair. That's what they say, you know, uh, just coming just coming here uh, in 1986 when I, when I arrived here at Alcorn to go to school, um, it was a, a group of receivers, Torrance Small and Cedric Till and Fernando Evans, all those guys, and uh, we had a night practice one night and, you know, just throwing the ball as well as I did, and um, they just put the thing together, Air, you know, Air McNair, you know, and, uh, and it stuck with me, you know, the whole time, you know, the time, that the whole tenant I was here. And um, it was good. I enjoyed it. You know, it had a good ring to it. So, you know, it stuck with me. And even now when people say, um, we remember you, you was the original Air McNair, you know, I said, well, that's what they say, you know. Yeah. But I, it was just good. But um, my dad was given that name in 1986. And you were okay to pass it along to your brother? I was fine with it because, <laughs> you know, I, I knew, uh, I knew at some time that this, this, this young man had a special talent. And uh, he was so much more mature than some of the kids he played with in high school and, and the way he performed on a different level. And you know, um, and he, he asked me, you know, uh, he, wanna, he wanna be Air, Air McNair. I said, now you can be Air to McNair, you know? <laughs> so he took that, he took that name and, and uh, I did wonders with it. Two Air is divine, you know? Um, and all that kind of stuff. So it was great. It was great. This great legacy of things that went on during the course of his tenure. Yeah. How much did he learn from you? The biggest thing that we talked about all the time was playing the quarterback position. And he always wanted to play quarterback. You know. Um, you know. I think I was in, in in playing in the Canadian League, and I called him, and and uh, he asked me how was I doing, and all that kind of stuff. And I uh, said, so how's things going? He's just going great, you know, playing quarterback, and that's what he wanted to do. You know, I come home sometime, and during the course of the off season, and we get together, we'll we'll throw passes, and and um, I kind of teach him about defense and things of that nature. So um, he learned a lot from me. You know, uh, quarterback instinct is is something that that you, you you have to be born with, and I think that one of the, the God-given talent that he was born with the instinct to play that position. Is it still surreal sometimes, like that he's gone? Well, you know, you you, you kind of wish that he would walk through the gates right now, you know, and just say, "What's up, man?" And uh, but you know, it's always in the back of your mind that it's still hard to believe uh, that he's gone. Uh, but we we come to reality, and you know, mom said peace with it and everything, so. I uh, just want to make sure she's happy, for one, and um, you know if she's happy, I'm happy. You know, so uh, we kind of we kind of talk to each other every morning, every afternoon. We call each other, and you know, I, like I tell the kids a lot of time, they scared to tell their mom that they love them. You know, I said, you know, tell your mom you love them, tell your dad you love them, and at the end of the conversation, when my mom talking, I always tell her I love her. You know, and uh, that's a special moment for us. And uh, you know, we we kind of see the backbone now because she raised five and. And uh, put us, put three of us through college, and and just her alone. You know that means a lot, and that's what sticks out to me most. Yeah. Okay, let's change stuff before I cry. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I can't be over here losing eyelids. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. What was it like growing up in Mount Olive? Oh, big, 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 small city. <laughs> I'm gonna call it big, small city. Big, small town. Uh, in that small town, good, great community. Um, I. Every time I tell everybody, you know, they, I'm from Mount Olive, you know, they, I'm not from a big city, I'm from Mount Olive, you know, I, I always believe that, um, and, and, you know, just coming in that small town, being raised there, um, you know, gave me the desire to, 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 to want to be something. Was going to Alcorn like always a dream of yours? You know, the biggest thing is, and I, I used to I tell coaches this too, um, and actually the other day, Robbie, he brought me a poster in um, from that 1984 game up in Jackson. And the crowd was unbelievable. And I was one of them in the tenant there in 1984 on that Sunday. And, um, and I was just sitting there and I said, I want to be one of them. You know, everybody talking talk about a football player, you know, but I was talking about a coach. 